Good morning, guys. It is the morning, just about. It's about half past 11 now. I've managed to get out for a couple of hours between chores, work, and uh, it pouring down with rain. <laughs> it's supposed to pour down with rain about two, three o'clock this afternoon. So we've got a couple of hours. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different, something I've not done before. Um, as you can see, I'm down a river, a very small river as well. Obviously, it's the closed season. Uh, I've come out to do a little bit of spinning for trout. That's the plan. There's some trout in, trout in this stretch, this club stretch. It's a bit more coloured than I'd have liked, though, unfortunately. There's only cool, maybe three or four inches of visibility. So uh, it could be a bit of a struggle, but we'll find out. Right, gear-wise... Oh, to excuse the... Uh, it's very windy today. Hopefully you can uh, hear me okay. Gear-wise, I've just got... Uh, some, some some old kit and some new kit. I've got a Finnor Profiler there. It's a quarter to three quarters of an ounce rated. And I've got a, an Advanta X540 reel on there. And that's it. That's my spinning, spinning gear. Right, we've got some um, various spinners, um, some plugs as I call them, crankbaits as they get called these days. So I'm going to run some plugs around, going to run some spinners around, find some nice pools. It's a nice height, this river. It's just a case of, uh, I think, dropping a spinner in front of a fish or two and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> we can have one or two out. Right, so let's get cracking. We haven't got long. So bearing in mind how coloured it is, I think we'll go something very bright, fire tiger pattern. Just a very shallow diving lure to start with. We'll perhaps go on the spinners if this doesn't do any good. I can get my, get my eye back in. I don't, don't lure fish very often. <laughs> should mention I've got braided line on here it's just much better for lure fishing and uh, I've got a fluorocarbon leader on see what we can do floating plug just uh, run it around see if there's anyone at home I've fished this stretch a few times it's on a, a ticket I don't always have So I don't fish here all the time, but um, when I have done in the past, there's always some trout about. <laughs> Obviously being the close season, we're only after trout today, which is why I've come to this stretch, because it is uh, quite a trouty stretch. Well, nothing doing on the... Uh, On the plug, so we'll uh, we'll get on the spinner. Fling this about. I think this is probably a better bet, given the clarity or lack of. About four inches of visibility there. <laughs> this could be tricky going. Right, nothing doing that. Let's have a wonder. Right, nice little pool here. On the outside of a bend. It'd be better to fish it from upstream, but not really possible. <laughs> Well, nothing doing in there. It's a nice little pool just below as well. We'll, uh, we'll have a go down here, I think. We'll just drop that in there. It's a floating law, so it'll just float off downstream. We can drag it back through. Just let that drift off right down there and back through this pool.
We're in. We're in. What we got? <laughs> Try it, hopefully. Well, it took a while. My neck's miles away, typically. <laughs> it is lovely brownie. We'll, uh, we'll grab him out of the water. <laughs> hopefully. Got it. No. Yes, got it. <laughs> Wonderful. How's about that? <laughs> That's cracking. Fantastic. My first ever trout caught by design. Well, look at the colours on that as well. Absolutely stunning. Wonderful. I am really, really chuffed with that. As you can probably tell. Absolutely wonderful. Right, let's get him back safely. There you go, chap. Off he goes. That's brilliant. Absolutely over the moon with that. That's absolutely fab. It's a bit of confidence as well. I'm, I don't do a lot of lure fishing, and I've, as I said, I've never lure fished for the trout before. You never quite know whether you're doing the right thing until <laughs> you get that bite. It might not have been big, but absolutely brilliant. Over the moon with that. Right, nothing else doing in there. Let's go for a bit of a wander. Well, this looks quite good. We've got uh, some kind of land drain type thing over here. Although there's a water treatment place up there, so we could be running off from that. Although it doesn't look like it's got anything it shouldn't have in it. Um, we've got the main river and a feeder stream as well, and they all collect in this sort of pool here. It's not a very big pool, but uh, certainly worth a few casts. They try it like a bit of fast water, don't they? But uh, it might just be a little bit too shallow in here. It seems fairly shallow. So guys, while we stood here doing a bit of spinning, I've got a bit to uh, update you on since you last saw me. I've been out a couple of times since the last video that you've seen. First time um, I went out early morning, beautiful morning, down to the local canal where I've been fishing and not doing particularly brilliantly, but sort of scratching a few fish out if you like. Um, went there, fished, and it was terrible. Oh, mate, Mick happened to be here as well that morning. He managed one hybrid out, but he found it really tough as well. I uh, I did end up sort of leaving after sort of a couple of hours, about eight, half eight, I decided I was I was going. I'd had enough of sitting around and watching a float that wasn't moving. And the thing with the canals near us, they're only perhaps three foot deep. So if there's any fish in your swim, you know that the float starts moving and it's very easy to tell when there's fish around and there just wasn't any fish around. I had a few moves, but in the end, as I say, I just thought I'm going to knock on the head. And as I was just walking back to the car, I, I stopped off at a lock mouth and I just thought, oh, this looks quite good actually. There's a bit of flow in the, on the lock bypass, the lock sluice, and it just looked nice. So I thought, right, I'll have a go here for, for 10 minutes. And to my surprise, I had a bite, which I missed <laughs> somehow. <laughs> um, so I dropped in again. I fairly soon had another bite, which I was equally surprised at, and I missed that as well. 
couldn't believe it. So I thought, right, I need to, I need to connect with whatever this is. And before I got a chance to get another bite, a boat came through, coloured it up, completely wrecked it. So that was the end. That was the end of that, unfortunately. So I went home. <laughs> when I was out again, I decided to do a bit of zandering after the failure on the waggler. Thought we'd do a bit of zandering. But that's also, I've heard through the grapevine, been very, very difficult this season. Or this closed season, I should say. Um, well, I went and had a go at a stretch where I've done okay when it's started to warm up in the past. So I, I went down to that stretch and I fished all the way along it and not a nibble. So I didn't think I'd bore you with two... Uh, to unsuccessful videos. I think I might put the put the plug through here. Looks looks good for for a plug. Let's just try to plug in over there under that tree. Right, slightly different plug on this time. Not the fire tiger. This time we've got the uh, I don't know. It looks like a hot perch or something like that. Let him drift down a bit. Well, just walking past here. <laughs> looks, uh, looks like a reasonable spot worth a couple of casts. That's what I'm looking for, really. I mean, I'm no expert. Trout at all. So I'm just really today looking for a bit of fast water next to a bit of slow water. Fish the crease between the two. And I try like the oxygenated water. And you like a bit of fast water. And here comes the rain. There's a few spots I felt of the day. This water's just a bit too coloured, I think. If, we're, if it's a bit clearer, I think we'd, uh, we'd, we'd be doing better than this. Never mind, we've got the whole close season to get good at it, haven't we? Right. It's worth a few casts. As it turns out, it wasn't, but <laughs> it was worth a go. Here comes the rain. I'm going to do a few more swims. I don't think this stretch goes too much further. We'll get uh, get off a little bit down in the stream, but uh, I think the end is nigh. Right, I'm going to make this the last cast. <laughs> Absolutely battered by the weather. <laughs> Well, as I say, that's been very, very enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. It's about to turn not at all enjoyable, so I shall get while the getting's good. Now, I'm going to try and get out again a little bit later in the week. And we'll certainly be back doing a bit of spinning for trout in the future. But uh, I think that's it. That's done for today. Now, as I say, I will be out later on in the week. I'm not sure doing exactly what or exactly where, but for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Bit of a catch up and something a bit different. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support and I'll see you all again very soon.